Hey guys, so I've been feeling a little bit nostalgic lately and with the new Steve Jobs movie coming out tomorrow, I thought I'd do a very special throwback Thursday for you guys. This is a review of the iconic iMac G3. Now the G3 is one of the most memorable computer designs ever. It was released in a time when personal computers hadn't yet become a permanent fixture in our homes and Apple aimed to change that. The idea was that by making the computer more friendly and visually appealing, Apple could more effectively uh, penetrate uh, the home market. The computer also marked the return of Steve Jobs and Jonathan Ive to Apple, which is a move that arguably saved the company from extinction. Uh, right here, I've got the 1998 version of the iMac G3 in a nice rose gold. The shell is partially opaque, so you can see some of the hardware inside the computer, and it also features a handle for easy carrying. That is a design feature inherited from some of the earlier Macintosh computers. The computer also came with a matching keyboard and hockey puck mouse. On the front of the computer, we have a conveniently located power button, disc tray, uh, two headphone ports, as well as twin in-body speakers. On the side, we have a frustratingly difficult to open side latch, which houses two USB ports, uh, enough for your mouse and keyboard, as well as audio in and outs, ethernet, and modem ports. Thankfully, if you need more USB ports, your keyboard has two of them. Now let's talk specs. This model has a 266 megahertz, that's mega, not giga, uh, processor, 64 megabytes of RAM, and a six gigabyte hard drive. To put things in perspective, my current Apple made desktop has a 2.7 gigahertz processor, 64 gigabytes of RAM, and one terabyte of hard disk space. Uh, what's even scarier is that uh, my phone has a 1.84 gigahertz processor, two gigabytes of RAM, and a 128 gigabyte hard drive. So it's kind of interesting to look back and see what was really cutting edge at the time in terms of specs compared to just what we take for granted now. This model is also currently running Mac OS 9.2, which is the very last um, version of Mac OS 9 that was ever released, um, which is really nice because now I can play some really cool old OS 9 games that uh, don't really emulate very well on the newer, newer computers. So this computer means a lot to me personally. It was the first machine to run programs like iMovie and I think it represents a turning point and a realization for me that technology exists to unlock human potential. This thing is a tool, um, a tool that at the time really only existed in office settings and Apple played a big role in bringing it into our homes. So let me know what you think guys. Is this just a piece of old junk or is it something special? Um, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna answer every question I get in the first two days that this video is up. Uh, if you're new to this channel, definitely subscribe and I'll keep you up to date with all sorts of new fun stuff. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you next time.